In the last part, we walked through our app, which is just day two. Um, we have a two-page app using a side menu, a home page, and a settings page. We have a button for ad contact. We have, um, oh, that's not what I want. We have installed the Capacitor Community SQLite plugin. In the on mount section of our application, we are initializing the database and then we're just dumping, um, we're opening it and we're dumping a database open so that we know that the database has been opened successfully. Um, let's put some comments in here. And it database. Okay, so that is the first part of what we wanted to do. Um, now the next part is we need to somehow, since we're using SQLite, we need access to a table and we need the table to be set up. So what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to use an actual SQLite command to create a database table that we will start to work with. Um, there's a more advanced way to do it, which we'll cover later in the series, but for right now, we're just gonna keep it simple and use commands that we know to actually create a table. And so let's create, uh, Let's create a new function called const uh, initialize. So let's just call it indb table. Okay. And the cool thing about the SQLite plugin is that once we have um, access to the SQLite plugin, we have access to the database and we can execute queries against the database as you normally would. So let's create, first of all, let's create a variable to kind of hold our database object. So let's go up here and we'll create a ref. So it's reactive, let's import this reactive. And so now we have our database. And then remember inside of here, your database, you have to get access to the database, you have to use the value. So let's say database dot value. Oh, first thing we need to do is make sure we assign it. So if it's been successfully loaded down here, database opened, let's do this. Let's set the value from the database that we got. And then now inside of here, I'm gonna run a query. Um, so you see database, and then you need to do a run. And then we're gonna execute a query and these queries are async. So we need to do a wait. Sorry. And then um, we need to make this async. Format that. And we're gonna follow the same approach. We'll go back through the application later and we'll clean up the UI to display better alerts. But for now, we're just gonna do a simple try catch. And we're just gonna display a Windows alert if there's an error. So error initializing database there. And here we're going to catch the error and say error, error initializing database table. And so, and then definitely what we wanna do is down here um, here's where we're going to initialize the table. Okay. And then, so here we need the actual script to, um, create the table. And so I have that written already. So we're going to have to type it all out and we're going to create a constant called create table. And that is this. Okay, and so what this is, is, is a script. And for those of you who know SQLite, it says basically create the table if it does not exist, a table called contacts. We're gonna set the um, ID as an integer, as a primary key, it's not null. We're gonna have a first name, a last name, and an email. The email is also unique. Um, and then we run the command against our database and then it'll give us a result to let us know if everything was successful or not. And um, that should be that. So let's see what happened because remember we're doing live reload so it probably tried to run this already. Let's open up Xcode. Um, database opened. Looks like everything worked well because we have no errors. 
And so now we have our database table set up. Let's actually, yeah, now we have our database set up. And that's what we wanted to do in this phase, just to get the next step, which is the um, open, initialize the database table, and then display uh, that it was done successfully. Okay, let's actually, let's do this just so we know, const. Let's see if we get a response. P R E S B equals, then here, let's say console log table created and response and then return so we get something back true. All right. So just yes, database opened. So as you, if you look at the order of things, right, if we go down here, this is the result is true from initializing my database. And then this is the database open result. Actually, where's my database table? I should be seeing that, hold on. Let's run this again. So the table was created and then the database was opened. Um, so everything's good. So now we know we have our table and we are ready to actually take some action. And we're gonna move on to the next section right now.